start out by trying to actually start to do some of this outreach. Now, the core thing I want you to do today and this week is I want you to go out and sort of see who are people that you already have in your networks that you're following, you're, you're subscribing to, and see who they are. So these might be people from you follow on LinkedIn or Twitter or Facebook. Start to find these sorts of people that you're already there. And whoever you have that you would like to interview, the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to make sure you follow them on their social profiles of choice. So again, if you're following someone who's an entrepreneur and they've got a really active Instagram presence, connect with them there right away. Because again, part of the secret of actually increasing your conversion rate from two to three percent up to 40, 50, 80 percent in that way is making sure that they see you as a human, not just someone else in that way. So how do you get these people to do an interview with you? How do you get people who may be a little famous or may be busy to sort of say yes to an interview? We're going to talk about that right now, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about this concept called the five-minute favor. Now, this is a powerful technique that really does use some powerful psychology tricks to kind of to your advantage in this way. So uh, I want to tell you a little story about this guy. So this guy, do you want know who this guy is at all? This is Adam Grant. Adam Grant is a researcher from Wharton. Uh, he also is the author of a book called Give and Take. And what I'll do is I'll send you the video uh, of a TED Talk that he gave. This clip was taken from called Give and Take. Now, the short version of what Adam Grant did is he went out and researched to understand sort of the power of generosity. People who are sort of generous with their time and their money, how do they do in the world? Do they succeed or do they fail? And so the important thing to understand is that when Adam Grant went out there to sort of understand people, he figured out that all of us fall into one of three types of people. We're, there's about 25% of people who's what's called givers. Now givers are people who naturally will give up their time and their money without worrying about what they're gonna get back in return. They're just naturally generous. So that's about 25% of people. On the other extreme is about 25% of people is what called, what's called takers. Now takers are people, no matter what you do for them, they're only really in it for themselves. So they're just not generous. It doesn't mean they're jerks or they're bad people. It just means their brains don't work that way. So like, if you say, hey, can I borrow your lawnmower? They're gonna be like, hmm, Eric might break it, right? So no, like just, that's naturally their predisposition. Now that's important to understand because if you think about it, when you're gonna start to reach out to these people cold, you're gonna reach out to strangers. If you wind up connecting to someone, and so I'm gonna pick on Laura here, like Laura, if I reach out to you, and you, we're gonna say that you are someone who is a giver. If I reach out to you and say, hey listen Laura, I'd love to grab 15 minutes of time with you, and you're putting on your giver hat, what are you gonna say? Sure, what? Of course, right, exactly, she's a giver. She's super duper generous on this way, right? That's sort of what we're gonna do. So, Hamira, I'm gonna pick on you next, all right? So, now in this case, you're a taker. You're not really a taker, but I'm just gonna say <laughs> you're a taker in this case, all right? Now I reach out to you for an interview. I'm this, you know, again, a college student or an MBA student. Hey, I wanna grab 20 minutes of time with you. What's your answer gonna be? Uh, probably I'm very busy. Yeah, you're busy. Like, look, there's not really much in it for you. So, whatever it is. So, important thing to understand there is if, again, you've reached out to four people, if, you know, we get Laura, she's gonna say yes. If we get Amara, she's gonna say no, right? And we got two other people in the middle that Adam Grant identified are what's called matchers. Now, matchers is what most of us are. Matchers are people who sort of live in a world of sort of quid pro quo. They believe in fairness to their core. So if I do a favor for you, I'm happy to do a favor back. So Duran here, if, if I do a favor for, or Duran does a favor for me, he basically just expects me to do a favor back. All right, that's kind of the way that Duran lives. Half of us sort of live in this match world. Now here's why this is matters. The important thing to understand is that matchers hate takers. They hate takers beyond anything. And their life's goal is to punish someone who's a taker because they feel it's just not fair. That's how they work. So let's play this one out, all right? Duran is here. I'm talking to Duran. And sort of what happens is, is I reach out to Duran and I say, hey, Duran, you don't know me from anything. I say, hey, I want to do an interview with you. And you happen to be a matcher, all right? What is the thought that's going through your mind right now? Uh, that you, you're a taker. You just want to. It's one is time, right? It's one is time in that way. And so the challenge in this case is let's do the math here, right? So we've got. You know, we've got Duran is 50% of people, right? So again, Homer is already automatically a no. Laura's a yes, so I've got one person out of four. I've got, you know, Duran and the others like Duran here, I've missed on. So I've got one in four people are naturally predisposed to like me, all right? Just sort of say yes and say no, all right? Here's the secret, and this is the concept of the five minute favor, all right? The most important thing that you're going to learn about this one is that we have to be generous first. Right? That's the secret in this one. So if I do something nice first for Duran, he's super interested. So if I say to Duran, hey, listen, uh, you know, I didn't even ask him anything, but I saw that he had sort of been raising money for a particular cause and made a small donation. So I want to interview Duran, but I saw that he's raising mon money for cancer research. And I make a $15 donation and say, hey, Duran, listen, I love what you're doing. I want to make a donation with you. And I didn't do anything else. And Duran said, wow, 
Now, Duran feels guilty because I did something nice for him. He wants to sort of know what he can do back. So this is the important thing here is now suddenly Duran is predisposed to help me. So we're going to be generous first. What you're going to do with these people that you want to connect with this week is I want you to go out and follow and connect with them on social media. That's what I want you to do. Anyone that you might want to interview, first do that. That's number one. Number two, you want to publicly do something nice for these people. Now, what do I mean by that? You want to do something that shows you're generous. It doesn't take much time. It doesn't take any money, potentially. It could be something like championing their cause that they have. So again, if Duran's doing something like that he cares about, I could champion that. Or maybe they have a podcast. If I simply say, I rate and review his, po excuse me, his podcast with five star reviews, that's doing something nice. Maybe he's an author and I wind up doing a, leaving a review on Amazon. Or maybe he has something else. The important thing to do is I, number one, I do it. And number two, I tell him that I did it. Now again, it's important to say, I love your book. I just left you a five star review. Keep up the good work. Now the important thing to do is then once you do those sorts of things, you've now created a relationship where you have a shot to get them to say yes.